Hello everybody, it is CJ, it is Sunday, it is time for Quick Cuts. Let's go ahead and talk about something today. I'm not going to be talking about the GW hand, paint handle thing that I keep wanting to talk about because I can't get hold of the sucker to review it. So what I'm going to talk about is the Marauder. Um, the Marauder has been around for a very long time, and we have this right here in front of us, the new scene, the new classics, whatever you want to call it, the really cool kick-ass version of the Marauder that was drawn up by Anthony Scroggins, and quite frankly it's it's amazing um but we don't have it yet we want it we are probably going to be waiting a while because of a certain group of people over in uh who are, have a court case going and um yeah this is probably gonna be a little bit once that's resolved we're probably going to see this thing but until then we're not um what do we do until then because you have a few marauders on the market right now you have the you have several versions of the Project Phoenix Marauder. Um, in fact, there was just a new one done, which alleviates some of the gangliness to the design. And um, we have the Marauder 4X, which, quite frankly, is amazingly beautiful. And, um, you know, I, I love the design. I love the way it looks. And looking at it, when you look at that, and then you look at the, uh, you know, you look at the, the new scene Marauder, they have their differences, but they're not too far apart. Um, the leg structure is very similar. The arms are they're a little different, and uh, the cockpit uh, it's kind of the same kind of different. Um, but the biggest thing, and and what probably keeps this from uh, seeing a lot of use, is the fact that you've got these two massive SRM six launchers on either side of it. Now, mind you, for the 4X, they work great. I mean, it's, what, twin Blazer Cannons and twin SRM6s? It's actually not a bad design. I like it. I've never used it, though, because I've always bought this model to convert it. So, what you're going to see here, you're going to see um, see now, you know, we're, we're looking at the, the 4X, the standard. Let's look at the 4X modified to a weird version of the standard. So, you can see in the image, um, it's not that hard to actually do this. So, you pretty much take the 4X, you, you'll need a couple parts, you'll need a donor gun, um, and as you can see, I use two different size guns on these. I kind of prefer the bigger one of the two, it's off a little tiny plastic toy tank, um, but... Even a smaller one will work, or you can use a larger one if you have an extra one sitting around from the Phoenix stuff. If you have a vault, a laser off one of the Vulture miniatures, that'll work. Even just some some tubing, um, some plastic tube, and essentially all you're going to do, and, and you come with the the blister comes with part of the materials you need. So you go ahead, you build your Marauder 4X, um, or you can do it before you build when you just have the torso. And you take two pieces of the little pl the clear blister that this thing comes in, and you cut them. Um, I usually just eyeball it, but it looks like it's roughly about, uh, let's say like three-eighths of an inch by a quarter of an inch. And um, you just use a little super glue, dab it, you know, dab some right where the SRM6 launchers are, stick this on there. You can't tell. I mean, you seriously cannot tell. It, it looks like it looks like panels that were sculpted into the miniature. So, I mean, for the most part, you you just you know you might need to shave it a little bit to get it to match a little bit better. Um, I know I've had to shave them slightly. Usually, after they dried, I'll kind of shave the edges down a little. But yeah, I mean, this is a quick, easy thing to do. Um, the other thing, once you've gone ahead and done that, you take the donor gun barrel, you shave it at an angle you have to kind of eyeball this as well you dry fit it until you get it to where you want it on that side torso dot of glue stick it on use a plastic one it'll never come off um the only thing i would say is if you wanted to go a little bit more the traditional marauder look um you could actually probably get like the hussar uh large laser off of ironwood metals although it'd be easy to tell it's a hussar weapon and it doesn't have that angular look um, the other option is to just build a housing for it on the roof of the mech. Um, and it wouldn't be that hard. Heck, you could probably get away with just something that's kind of trapezoidal or something like that. 
you know, and slap it all together. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it for right now. I just want to go ahead and kind of cover something that, that I've been doing here. I've done it two times. I'm probably going to do it a lot more until the, uh, until I was about to say the four X until the, uh, new scene Marauder comes, comes about. And mind you, once that comes around, I'll probably buy a few of those because every house, just like with, uh, when I was talking about the road trader, not road trader, Robotech tactics, it, it, my mind scrambled right now. I'm sorry. Um, like I guess I'm out with the Robotech tactics. I want all of my units, all of my, my house units to have some of these traditional designs because they're, they're very flexible. You can use them in any era and you know, they, they just look great. So if you're looking for an alternative to a Phoenix mech and you want something like the, uh, you know, this beautiful, beautiful machine that I'm looking at, go ahead and, um, take you a 4X, glue some, pla some, uh, some of the, the plastic from the clamshell on over the missile launchers, glue a gun on there, and paint it up to look like anything you want. Anyway, um, this is CJ, so I will see you all on Tuesday. And don't forget, if you like what I'm doing, like it. If you really like it, subscribe. You'll get updates on what's going on. And y'all have a great, uh, you know, great rest of the week.